The core crystals vanishing without a trace is a matter of urgency. There is naught but to convene. The core crystals are the very basis upon which the universe came and continues to exist. I cannot begin to theorize what would happen should they cease to be. As a warrior of the crystals, I swear to see this task done. Yes? Understood. I'll set out at once. It is an honor to meet you. Him? By the look of you, I doubt you'll be of much help. Be warned, if you become a hindrance, I won't hesitate to leave you behind. There's no place for weaklings within the Warriors of the Crystals. If you're in agreement... I... I will do all I can. This should be the continent of Ardra, but there's nothing here. I guess our journey doesn't begin with civilization. At any rate, I still don't understand why the Will of Light would pair me with you. Could it be that I alone am not considered adequate for this task? The Will of Light said that it was in hopes of me gaining experience. I am a warrior of the crystals after all, albeit a green one. I suppose there is an opening within our ranks. And it's reasonable to expect that someone will need to be trained to fill it. But I was serious when I said I would go on without you if you become a hindrance. I hope you'll take that to heart. I cannot relax my standards simply because you're an apprentice. I, I understand. I will give it my all. Then let us waste no time. Try to discern the Core Crystal's location. The Core Crystal's location? We Warriors of the Crystals can sense the approximate whereabouts of the Core Crystals. So give it a try. As a fellow warrior, it should be no problem, right? Right. <clears throat> Are you really a warrior of the crystals? Uh, That's enough. I'll do it. It's that way. Though it is a bit far. We should hurry. We cannot allow the crystal to remain in the open for... <laughs> what is it? Ready yourself for battle. Huh? We are about to be given a very warm welcome. We are not far from a settlement, yet there are no signs of any people. Could this place be a hotbed for monsters? Th there are so many of them! What should we do? 
warriors of the crystals do not flee. We merely eliminate any obstacle in our path. The weak always flock together. Barely a test of my skills. Even so, it seems you had quite a hard time. M my apologies. That was my first proper battle. No excuses. We will not have a weakling amongst the warriors of the crystals. First, you needn't move so much. Assess your opponent's movements before taking action yourself. You allowed the monsters to toy with you. It should be you who controls the battle. Keep this up and there will be no use for you. You must become stronger. Is that clear? Uh, I appreciate your honesty, as brutal as it may be. There's no time to wallow in self-pity. We must reach the crystal before sundown. When night falls, the monsters become all the more vicious. Uh, please wait, Lady Doom! A village? What a peaceful place. I feel the core crystal must be near here. Let's see what information we can gather. Have you seen a core crystal? Core crystal? What's that? It should be around here somewhere. Tell me where it is. Hmm, sorry, miss. I, I don't think I can help you. What a waste of time. What's your problem? Is that how you ask someone for help? Did I do something wrong? Oh well, on to the next. Have you seen a core crystal? Huh? A... Uh, a core crystal? Correct. It should be around here somewhere. Tell me where it is. Uh, um... I haven't seen it myself, if that's of any help. It seems you're just as useless as the last. What did you... Lady Doom! What is it? Do not impede me. You won't learn anything asking like that. You'll only make them uncomfortable. Why would speaking the truth make them uncomfortable? Let me handle this one. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything different near the village lately? Anything different? Now that you mention it... The monsters dwelling in the mines on the outskirts of this village seem to have become quite ferocious as of late. Some are saying it's an omen of a natural disaster to come, but the cause is still a mystery. I see. By the way, was there some kind of sparkling object in that area? I've never gone near the mines. They're quite dangerous, you see. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. N not at all. I'm the one who should be apologizing for how my partner spoke to you. Thank you so much for sharing such useful information. Phew. Has no one ever told you that you aren't very adept at reading the room, so to speak? Not from the other warriors. I find that the other party often falls silent when I try to converse. Just as I suspected. This is a regular problem for you. I am simply conveying facts. So I cannot fathom why the other person fails to continue the conversation. Just conveying truth and facts bluntly isn't always a good thing. Anyone would stop being so keen to talk once their feelings have been hurt. Meaning they are weak of heart? It isn't about being weak or strong. Anyway, to return to the matter at hand, she said that there's something odd about the mines on the outskirts of the village. How do we proceed? By taking a look ourselves, of course. The monster's enhanced aggression might be an effect of the core crystal. I hope we can recover the core crystal soon, for the sake of the villagers as well. Uh, again? Lady Doom, wait for me!
These must be the mines the villagers spoke of before, inhabited by monsters. It's quite hard to see in this darkness. We could be attacked at any moment. Don't let your guard down. Right. How timely. Lady Doom! Someone is being attacked by the monsters! He seems to be overpowered! We must aid him! Quickly! It would be in our best interest to let him keep attracting the monsters. Let's use this chance to look for the core crystal. You, you mean we should leave him? The weak are overtaken by the strong. Such is the way of the world. We're not obligated to help. No. I refuse to abandon him! The very reason the warriors of the crystals exist is to help people! Not so. Our purpose is to safeguard the core crystals. But that boy might know where to find the core crystal! Huh? For the sake of gaining more information, let's lend him a hand. Please, Lady June, lend your blade so that we may save him. I suppose I can't refuse if it means we could learn something. I'll have this wrapped up shortly. Just don't get in the way, got it? As you say! They were quite tougher than I anticipated. Ferocious, even. Just as the villagers said. Who are you? Warriors of the Crystals. We aided you in the hope of you knowing something useful. Warriors of the Crystals? Uh, allow me. She means we came here in search of something. But more important than that, how do you fare? Fine. Thanks to you two. I really appreciate the help. But what if you're actually assassins who only saved me in order to lower my guard? Lower your blade, Tyrell. Venera! You shouldn't come out here! For all we know, they could be Fennis assassins! It's alright. You needn't worry about these two. How can you tell? They mean us no harm. Though I am in no condition to fight at the moment, I can still sense that much. If Venera says you're okay, then I just turn my blade on the people who saved me. My apologies. I'm Tyrell. The circumstances have forced Venera on the road, and I've been accompanying her ever since. As he said, my name is Venera. Firstly, allow me to express my gratitude. Thank you for helping us. Now then, what has brought you here? We're looking for a core crystal. Let me give you a more detailed explanation. And here we are. So, you're traveling in search of crystals that have been strewn about to different lands. It's quite difficult to believe, especially about your realm. Continue. Do you have any information regarding the core crystal? Sorry to disappoint you, but I do not. I see. Then we're off. Uh, a moment! That decision was made a bit too hastily. We have no time to waste. Why do you only see things based on their efficiency, Lady Joom? I will be the one asking questions for the time being. Why are you two in this tunnel? I assume you're running from someone? Well... Our homeland is out to take our lives. Venera! We've heard what brought them here. Is it not fair for us to share as well? I guess you're right. We took refuge in these mines to escape our pursuers from Venice. Vicious monsters prove too great in number, however, so we've been unable to advance any farther. Which leads me to a proposition. Would you escort us through the mines? What are you saying? I'm the only escort you need! 
Tyrell, we cannot afford any chance of being caught. So would it not be better to have as many people guarding us as possible? What keeps you from fighting as well, Lady Venera? Venera is carrying a child. So, she can't fight. Even if she wanted to, I wouldn't let her. Can't fight? Then what purpose does the sword on your hip serve? Someone very dear to me entrusted me with it. I think of it as a lucky charm. So that's how you ended up here. What should we do, Lady Jum? We don't have the time for detours. Even more so, I can't take part in something as inefficient as protecting the weak. Of course, I would not ask without offering something in return. We shall help you find the core crystal. If you think it might be in the mine somewhere, would it not make sense to have as many people looking for it as possible? Since they've offered to help us, the least we could do is escort them, don't you think? I don't understand why we would guard a burden such as Venera. Escorting them means putting ourselves at risk. I don't find it necessary to endanger myself for the sake of others. I'm inexperienced as a warrior of the Crystals, and it may not mean much coming from someone who is not human. But humans do not live their lives based solely on what they might lose or gain. Moreover, I can't just leave them to fend for themselves. Not as a warrior of the Crystals, but as the being that I am. Just answer one thing. Do you think there is meaning in the strong protecting the weak? I cannot say. But I do know that if I fail to offer my assistance in this moment, I'll live to regret it later. All right. We'll heed your request. But only until we find the crystal. Agreed? Of course. You have my thanks. We could always use you as bait if things take a turn, after all. Hey, Venera. Maybe these were the wrong people to ask for help, after all. <laughs> the monsters just keep coming! A warrior of the crystals does not moan about such trifling enemies. Apologies. First things first, you should stop charging ahead blindly. You are wide open to your foes and it is painful to watch. Find the enemy's weakness as you fight. Your mind is as important as your blade in battle. Use it and you can become stronger. R right! If you really understand, then let us hurry on ahead. I said get going. Gods, I'm happy I ended up traveling with someone like you, Venera. Perhaps I should start being more strict with you, too? Please, not that. You two seem quite close. Yeah, you think so? Are you in love with Venera? Lady Doom! Try to read the room a little! Did I say something wrong? Not quite. Venera is very precious to me. Not just Venera, but the baby she carries as well. And most of all, Lord Dario had a great impact on me as well. Lord Dario? Who was that? Venera's husband. Though, he is no longer with us. I see. And so you risk your life for a woman whom you shall never be with? Lord Dario asked me to look after her. Besides, I don't want to see someone so important to me get hurt. Humans are curious creatures. I cannot comprehend them. Though the thought may cross your mind, must you say it aloud? Monsters are increasing in strength and number as we advance. Could it be that there's something up ahead? Lady Doom, is this... A sign that the crystal is close. I sense it even more keenly than before. What's happening? Hold on to me, Venera! The, the path! 
Oh, we're blocked in! Meaning there is no going back. It matters not. Our business lies ahead. But we don't know what may happen. Be ready for battle. Of it. I sense the crystal from within the monster's body. If I had to guess, I would say it swallowed the core crystal. Th that means this monster is the reason why. Indeed. It appears this is the cause of the other monster's enhanced aggression. I don't really follow. But we should slay this thing, right? I'm glad you reached that conclusion so quickly. In any case, we can't leave this tunnel until it has been found. Stay back, Venera. We'll handle this thing. Here it comes. Following the crystal affected more than just its size. At this rate, we'll. Lord Tyrell! Ah! Are you alright? Never are you to let your focus falter during battle. Concentrate on the enemy before you. Got it! by the crystal it may be. It is still a mere monster. It has to have some kind of weakness. No! Venera! <sighs> Lord Dario's sword lit up and repelled the monster's attack. Get away from her! Venera, are you hurt? I... I am fine. Lord Dario's sword protected me. This light is... quite odd. It feels so warm. Yet I also feel some kind of loneliness from it, too. Whoa! Tyrell, Venera is in your care now. Huh? This voice! Voice? Can you hear something, Tyrell? Okay. I understand, Lord Dario. This light is Lord Dario's love. His very spirit which cherishes Venera. Count on me, Lord Dario. I'll protect her no matter what! If you're injured, withdraw. Otherwise, you're nothing more than a burden. You mean this? This is nothing. Besides, if I don't rise to the challenge now, I'd never be able to face Lord Dario again. You should be at your limit. I feel your vigor is only rising. Curious. Lucio! Yes! Well, we engage the monster. Use that opportunity to pinpoint its weakness. Y you think I can do that? It's not a matter of can or cannot. If you don't, we lose here. Our duty is to protect the crystals. The first step to fulfilling that duty is felling this beast. So show me. Show me you can pass through the threshold into warriorhood. Right! I'll give it a shot! t show us the power of your heart. Got it! You can count on me! Lord Dario... We did it! We felled it, Lady Doom! 
Save the celebration for after we've recovered the crystal. Now to retrieve the core crystal from its body. Slice open its stomach and dig your arm in. Like so! <sighs> core crystal collected. Could you at least wipe that blood and gunk off? Why bother? If you have such a problem with it, wipe it yourself. Is there any damage to the core crystal? The surface is a bit dirty, but I see no abnormalities with the core crystal itself. So that's the core crystal you two have been looking for? It's instrumental in keeping this world in balance. I'm relieved we were able to retrieve it. And Lucio. You did well. What? C could it be you're actually commending me? It won't happen again. Our task is complete. We'll be leaving here shortly. I suggest you two do the same. Though I suppose it won't hurt to continue escorting you until we reach the exit. What do you think brought on this change of heart? I'm fairly sure she's taken a liking to you both. Phew. It looks like we finally made it out. Since the tunnel is blocked, we should have a moment of respite from our pursuers. What happened with your sword earlier anyway? It looks like a typical sword to me. And this is Lord Dario's favorite blade. Though, it seems to have lost its magic. I have no doubt it was Lord Dario's will that protected Venera back there. Lord Dario... I want to thank you both once again. We could not have made it without your escort. Thanks to you as well. We wouldn't have recovered the crystal without you two. Huh? What's with that face? Nothing. I just never thought I would see you thank someone. Once we return, I have a special lesson planned just for you. Wait a moment. Don't tell me you're upset. <laughs> Do go easy on him. Well then, I believe it's time for us to press on. Wait! Well, what will you do now? Well, once we've escaped our pursuers for good, I hope to live out a peaceful life. Together with my child, without strife. I want to give her a life without any burdens to bear. Because in this world, nothing is more precious than freedom. That is the dream Lord Dario and I shared. And I'll be there to protect Venera and her child. No need to worry. If anyone can do it, you can. You have the strength for it. Thanks. Until next time. We should head back as well. We must prepare for your training. So you really were upset earlier. Not at all. I just want to whip you into fighting shape seeing how unskilled you currently are. So you were mad! Enough. We're leaving. Get ready and hold tight. Please, have mercy on me.